Well, I was thinking over what I might talk to you about on this video. Uh, Mrs. Hudson, uh, my uh, housekeeper, uh, chirped up in her inimitable style and said, Well, Reverend, why don't you tell everybody about the terrible uh, mess of apples on the lawn? I'm sure you can get something out of that. Well, as I said, that's, I hope she doesn't mind me imitating her, but you know what I mean. And uh, that's what she said. And uh, I looked at the mess of apples on the lawn and I tell you what, it's much easier if I show you myself, so come with me into the garden. As you can see, there are plenty of apples on the apple tree, but that isn't the whole story. Oh no, it isn't. You see, it's not seeing its job through to completion because this apple tree is not very good and as a consequence, this is what happens. We go down and down and there they all are scattered on the ground. A whole mess of apples. And the whole thing is that an apple tree should hold on to its apples till they reach maturity. But you see, they've not done that. And uh, these, this isn't as a result of the high winds, by the way. I cleared all those apples away. This is the second load that's dropped. And uh, sad to say, it's all because the tree is, as they say in the trade, not up to stuff. Well, as you can see, that apple really wasn't doing its job. And, uh, you know, I just reminded me of what Jesus said. He said, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Well, that tree produced much fruit, but it didn't hold on to it. It let it go before it reached completion, before it reached the time of harvest, before it reached the time of fulfillment. That fruit is good for nothing because the tree released it too soon. You know, Paul said to the Corinthians, here is my advice. It would be good for you to finish what you started a year ago. Last year you were the first who wanted to give. And you were the first to begin doing it. Now you should finish what you started. Now I know that was talking about them giving funds to people who needed aid. Uh, that's really what it was about. And, um, and yet isn't it true that for many of us, we start things and never complete them? And the word of God is complete what you start. You know, uh, Paul wrote to the Philippians, and I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. You see, God is a God of completion, and he wants us to be the same. Because remember, we're told to be imitators of God. And Paul said, imitate me even as I imitate Christ. And God is a God of completion. So, uh, let's remember that. Let's take a lesson from that apple tree. It's actually in my neighbour's garden, although all the apples fall into mine. A fat lot of good that is, as you can see, because they're absolutely good for nothing. And we don't want fruit that's good for nothing. We want the fruit from what we do to glorify Father God. So let's put our hand to the plough and not look back, just as Jesus said. And uh, let's make sure that we complete and finish what we start doing so that glory can be given to Father God. Bye! You're the way and you're the truth So I'll always